Thank you. The goal of the Enforce Act is to ensure that this do-nothing Congress forces President Obama to be a do-nothing president as well. It's not enough for the Republican majority to be setting records for how little they are doing. They expect the same do-nothingness from the president, especially on immigration. What Republicans have failed to do is work with their Democratic colleagues to bring serious, realistic, and achievable immigration reform legislation to the fore, reform that is overwhelmingly popular with the American people. They worked with us for months, then they decided they would rather deploy their soundbite strategy that, quote, the president can't be trusted to enforce the law and walked away from negotiations. The Republicans put forward broad, vague, but sensible principles they said would guide their reform efforts, then just as quickly decided they would deploy their soundbite strategy that the president can't be trusted to enforce the law and walked away from the legislation. I want to take a moment to show you this because I want to point it over to my Republican colleagues in case they forgot, and it's signed by Lamar Smith and Henry Hyde. And here's what it says. There has been widespread agreement that some deportations were unfair and resulted in unjustifiable hardship. In fact, substantiate the presentation that have been made to us. We must ask why the INS pursued removal in such cases when so many other more serious cases existed. You wrote the President of the United States and asked then President Clinton to use his discretionary power. You said further in your letter, it is well grounded that prosecutorial discretion, initiation, and termination of removal proceedings see attached referendum. And then you said, optimally, removal proceedings should be initiated, that's deportations, should be initiated or terminated only upon specific instruction from authorized INS officials, issues in accordance with agency guidelines. However, the INS apparently has not yet promulgated such guidelines. That's what the President of the United States, he promulgated guidelines, which you said that then President Clinton would not promulgate. And what were they? It was DACA. That's what he promulgated. He promulgated guidelines. And please don't tell me that it was a group of people and they have to do it individually. Tell the thousands of dreamers that have been denied DACA that they didn't apply individually. Each and every case was applied individually. Each of them came before the authorities and said, I want to apply for this program under these guidelines promulgated by President Obama. But when he does it, I guess you don't care. I guess then we can't trust them. No, you can't trust them because you do not want to act and you want to use it as an excuse. Moreover, I want to read to you from the Republican principles on immigration. This is what your caucus put forward. One of the greatest founding principles of our country was that children would not be punished for the mistake of their parents. It is time to provide an opportunity for legal residence and citizenship for those who were brought to this country as children through no fault of their own and have no other place. Yet today you Fired. want to take that very ability from the President of the United States. 